Begin the exam by assessing the temporomandibular joint. Place the tip of your index finger in front of the tragus of each ear. And open and close your mouth. Then ask the patient to open his mouth. Good. Observe the movement of the jaw, feel for swelling, and note any tenderness or crepitus. Next, inspect the neck, including the sternomastoid muscles, for symmetry, deformities, or abnormal posture. Now let's check your neck. Then palpate the spinous processes of the cervical spine. And the muscles of your shoulders. As well as the trapezius muscles. Good. And the muscles between the scapulae. Identify any areas of tenderness. Now, now test range of motion of the neck. I'll have you to test your flexion, to your chest. have the patient touch his chin to his chest. And your chin to your right shoulder. To check rotation, have him turn his chin toward his right shoulder, to your left shoulder. and then his left shoulder. Now bend your head towards your right shoulder. For lateral bending, ask him to bend his head toward his right shoulder. And toward your left shoulder and toward his left shoulder. And finally, tilt your head back. For extension, ask him to tilt his head back. Note any limitations in range of motion. To evaluate the range of motion of the shoulders and related structures, assess flexion by asking the patient to raise both arms to a vertical position. Assess external rotation by having him place his hands behind his neck with his elbows out to the sides. Check internal rotation by having him place his hands behind the small of his back. If you suspect a problem, cup your hand over the patient's shoulders and feel for crepitus as the patient repeats the movements. Then inspect the anterior shoulders and shoulder girdles for symmetry, noting any atrophy, swelling, or deformity. Now let's check the joints of your Palpate shoulder. Palpate for tenderness at the sternoclavicular joint, okay. the acromioclavicular joint, the subacromial area. How, any tenderness in there? Mm-mm. and the long head of the biceps tendon. Now assess the range of motion of the patient's elbows. To test flexion and extension, have the patient bend his elbows as much as he can, and then straighten them. To check supination and pronation, ask the patient to flex his elbows at 90 degrees and turn his palms up and then down. Let's check your left elbow now. Next, support the patient's forearm so that the elbow is flexed to about 70 degrees. Inspect and palpate the elbow, including the extensor surface of the ulna and the olecranon process. Note any nodules, swelling, or tenderness. Palpate the groove between the lateral epicondyle and the olecranon for tenderness, swelling, or thickening. Finally, press on the lateral and medial epicondyles for tenderness. Avoid pressing on the sensitive ulnar nerve. Okay. Let's check your right elbow. As you inspect and palpate the other elbow, compare findings. Check Your range of motion in wrist. the patient's hands and wrists. Hands and Ask the patient to make a fist, now, extend and spread, spread his fingers, fingers and flex, flex his wrists, wrists. Now extend them. and extend them, now move your wrist and move to the his side. hands laterally and now toward the center and medially now let's look at your hands inspect the patient's hands and wrists noting any swelling redness nodules deformities or muscular atrophy now let's check each finger now palpate the medial and lateral aspects of each interphalangeal joint between your thumb and index finger noting any swelling bogginess bony enlargement or tenderness
fluid. To detect joint fluid more easily, feel for it with one hand while using the other hand to compress the joint anteroposteriorly. To detect tenderness in the metacarpophalangeal joints, squeeze the patient's hand between your thumb and fingers. Then examine each metacarpophalangeal joint. Place your thumbs just distal to the knuckle on each side of the extensor tendon. Your fingers should be on the head of the metacarpal in the palm. Note any tenderness, swelling, or bogginess. Next, palpate each wrist joint with your thumbs on the dorsum of the wrist and your fingers beneath it. In summary, examination of the musculoskeletal system includes inspection, palpation, and range of motion tests of the head and neck, hands, wrists, elbows, shoulders, and related structures, feet, ankles, knees, and hips, and spine.